Okay, are you ready to play with the infinite? Let's do it. Let's do it in an x1 machine again. I'll do another polynomial division problem, but I'm going to make it a particularly simple one that's kind of deceptively uh, tricky in the end. What I want to do is take the very simple polynomial 1. In fact, let me draw a picture of what that looks like. It's just going to be one dot, but let me draw the full x1 machine. There's x1 machine going as far to the left as I please, and this is just one dot. All right, but what I want to do with this one dot is divide it by 1 minus x. All right, what does 1 minus x look like? Well, it's going to be, let's see, it's going to be one anti-x, so one anti-dot there, and one actual one, one dot. Here goes. One divided by one minus x means I'm looking for this pattern in this picture of one. Not much to go on right now. However, we've learnt life lessons in the past. If there's something in life you want, make it happen and deal with the consequences. So I've got one dot there. I'd love to have an anti-dot to go with it. So make it happen and deal with the consequences. That box is still technically empty, but now I've found one of what I want. Brilliant. Hmm, but I'm left with this dot here. I want something to go with it. I want an antidote to go with it. Make it happen. Deal with the consequences. Another thing of what we want. I've got a dot here. I'd love to have an antidote next to it. Deal with the consequences. Put a dot with it. And another thing of what I want. In fact, I can see now I'm going to be doing this for quite the while. In fact, it's going to go on infinitely on forever. I'm caught in an infinite loop. All right, so the answer is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, going on forever. So how do I interpret that answer? Uh, well, it's hard to start from the left this time. Maybe I'll actually start from the right. Um, that is 1, 1, and 1x, and 1x squared, and 1x cubed, and 1x to the fourth, and 1x to the fifth, forever. I've actually got an infinite sum. In fact, we've just proven something crazy. If I do this polynomial division problem right here, the answer is a sum that goes on forever. Whoa. In fact, this is a very famous formula in mathematics. In fact, most people write it the other way around. They start with this infinite sum and say it has this answer. They switch it around. And in most books, it's called the geometric series formula. So you might see that in a pre-calculus class or a calculus class, but it comes up in mathematics. And look, we got to the infinite just by playing with dots and boxes. I love it. And that's only one of many infinite sums we can play with. So I invite you to play with more. Lots of them to go for. All right, have fun.